Russia and China have agreed to speak with a united voice on global affairs. The remark was made during a meeting in China of the foreign ministers from the two countries. And Beijing reaffirmed its relationship with Moscow, saying there is no limit to cooperation between the two states. Julia Chapman joins us live from uh, Moscow. Uh, Julia, this is Mr Lavrov's first visit to China since Russia invaded Ukraine. Uh, he's taking part in meetings in Afghanistan as well, but... There's more to this trip, isn't there? Yes, certainly. Uh, officially, this was a visit uh, by Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov to discuss the future of Afghanistan with other uh, neighbours and people and countries in the region. But of course, uh, in a bilateral meeting that he held with China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi, uh, Ukraine was certainly on the agenda. Uh, according to a Ministry of Foreign Affairs statement uh, from the Moscow side, uh, the Foreign Minister raised the issue of Ukraine uh, updating uh, the Chinese counterpart on the progress of what Russia calls its special military operation and on the progress of the peace talks that were held uh, between Russia and Ukraine earlier this week. Uh, according to the MFA statement by Moscow, uh, the two foreign ministers condemned what they called uh, illegal counterproductive sanctions that have been introduced against Russia. And of course, sanctions are a very sensitive issue because while Russia and China China are uh, partners. They have very deep economic ties. They've agreed to expand those as well. China is treading a very careful path uh, when it comes to engaging with Russia because it, of course, does, also, does not want to fall foul itself uh, of the sanctions that have been introduced. Uh, but, of course, China has not been outwardly condemning uh, what Russia is doing in Ukraine. Uh, they have been voting either uh, with Russia at UN Security Council resolutions or abstaining altogether. Uh, there have been statements today from Wang Yi, the Chinese foreign minister, saying that uh, Russia, uh, China supports Russia uh, and other parties in ending and preventing any humanitarian crisis. Uh, he also expressed China's support for the peace talks as well, but certainly very far from any kind of condemnation. And as you mentioned, uh, the, the meeting came out with a statement saying that there were no limits to the friendship, the relationship between Russia and China. And that's something that Sergei Lavrov alluded to when he spoke about the two countries' role in the world. Mr. Lavrov is uh, also going on to visit India tomorrow as the country stands by Moscow on trade. What's the significance of visiting India at this point? Well, India, of course, uh, is another country that has been uh, expressing some support for Russia in the last month. It hasn't been, again, condemning uh, its actions in Ukraine, what the Kremlin insists we call a special military operation. Uh, and indeed, uh, the Kremlin and Russia is a very important trading partner for India, particularly in the defense sphere. Uh, a huge majority of India's arms have been purchased by uh, from Russia, and a huge proportion of Russia's exports in arms go to India. So they are very much mutually dependent in the defense sphere, but also in energy as well. And we have seen India over the past month taking advantage of the market situation of countries being very reluctant to buy Russian oil. Uh, India had not been a major uh, purchaser of Russian oil in the past, uh, but in the past month it has bought uh, more crude oil from Russia than it did in all of last year. So it has been ramping that up, uh, taking advantage of the situation and the lower oil price at the moment in Russia. Uh, but certainly the timing of this meeting is also significant. Of course, Sergei Lavrov is here trying to court countries that he believes could support Russia's position. But it also comes as American and British uh, foreign ministers uh, and officials are going to be visiting India as well, uh, trying to lobby on the opposite side, calling on New Delhi to take a tougher stance against Russia than it has done so far. Uh, Julia Chapman in Moscow, thank you.